you know they're delaying a lot after you medium punch, you can just do this. You see people do this all the time. Right, so Hugo, that's a good question. Is like, for example, you saw J Rush using Fierce, right? He would use Zeku Stand Fierce. So he'd walk up and stand Fierce, right? So that's the conversation. We're walking and then we meet in neutral. And because whether or not I would press, right? Let's say, for example, if I press one button and I'm too far to hit him, he hits Fierce, right? So once we're outside of this range, he presses for space control. And then I know when we're outside this range and I just tap him, he's going to whiff, stand Fierce, whiff on it. So what you could do is, like, for example, you could just meet in this range, okay, he walks forward, I walk back, stand fierce, with punish. You kind of just, you know the space, you know the space he wants to hit a button, so you can kind of guess the button he's going to throw. The problem with that is when players play completely just space, uh, sorry, based on space, right, and, um, and hitting a crush counter, right, it's not really technically with punishing. Like, it's not like... What's up, Brutus? It's more like buffering more than anything, right? Which is also like that's a kind of with punishing too. Like you can throw out a normal that's not really confirmable, but because you saw them hit a normal, that's a confirm. So you just do the special move. You know, and that's what people do with a lot of buttons. So that's what people will do with crush counters. That's what people will do with Zeku Stand Fierce. Technically, I guess Zeku Stand Fierce is really uh, confirmable, but Cody Stand Medium Punch would be one of those buttons. I guess. Let's say you're playing with someone, but let's say peripheral who has an issue. One thing they do is when they meet in neutral, they tend to whiff very often, right? So if you're playing with someone, you know that you're trading with them a lot, you can kind of ask yourself, why am I whiffing here so much? You'd be like, well, the truth is, usually you're taking a risk right here. Once you both walk together and you meet right here, you know, for whatever reason, when you meet right here, you just always press. Well, then what you do is you kind of, to mitigate risk, right, and to give him more of an opportunity to whip and you press less and less. Yeah, you're just too thirsty for the interaction. You like you always want like you always want the situation to be used. And you don't really think about why. So when I play someone and I know we meet, right? I know that usually I can just toss a crush counter as soon as we meet. Right? Because it's slow, it'll probably catch their delay, like walk, delay, press. And it'll usually blow them up. Right? Or I can just walk and poke. It's a safe poke. They would have to immediately commit the crush counter. Right? And then if I blow them up with this, and they don't want to get hit, then I can just wait, he does stand fierce with punish. Right? Yeah, in other ways, you play very slow, but as soon as we meet in the neutral, you tend to whip. Because you see it as, I don't know, because of your walk speed, maybe your turn, but everybody does this. Some just do it more delayed than others. Yeah, to get all that. So, like, for example, there's another thing you could do is, like, there's different kinds of whiff punishes, right? Like, hit confirming, right? Like, let's say Cody would be crouch fierce, but Karen would be, like, crouch medium kick tenko, right? So, let's say you do crouch medium kick, right? You hit him low, he's likely to whiff, right? Because you're always out of space after a low from this far. Then you would throw crouch medium kick again when you see when you see anything, right? When you see anything, that's where the jab buffer will generally work. And then when you see a button and you, and let's say, let's say you are in block range, right? You do this and then you wait and do it again after you see something. If you see a medium, you know for sure it will hit. So you cancel. If you see a jab, that's where the hit confirming has to come in, right? So if it is a crouch medium kick and you can hit, hit confirm, then you hit confirm into the tango. But it, let's say if it's Cody, right? Let's say if I do low medium kick stand medium punch. So I mean, th there's a huge gap. But let's say, for example, I do this and then I want them to whiff, right? So I do this. Well, if I see them throw medium by the time I do medium punch, then I know I can cancel the zone, right? But if I see them throw jab and I don't want to be negative too, I don't cancel, right? Because this is not a hit confirmable normal. But I can confirm based on the normal they whiff because basically it tells me like I got a lot of extra time. So I do this and they do stand fierce, right? I see something, stand fierce, and I delayed long enough so I don't get crush counter. Then I know for sure I could do EX Ruffian. I got all the time in the world, you know? And then lastly, let's say I see a button, crouch fierce. I can always hit confirm that, always. So it doesn't matter. If I see something, I press and I hit confirm. There should be no second guessing. You should only be focusing on the hit confirm. The reason for that is you're gonna trip yourself up if you're always going for these like these like visual buffers.
Did you talk about pressing the whiff punish button on the time you would be in block? I just mentioned that very briefly. Like I mentioned if, um, so that's what I was talking about with Karen low medium kick. Like if you do this and Karen is going to low medium kick at the time they would be blocking. Let's say they're doing delay low medium kick right here. If it whiffs, then I could do this. So I'll do this and act like I'm going to press it again. So let's say I do this and then I do this. Then that would beat that. Okay, let's say like, see, they're doing it. I gotta make him do it longer. I gotta make sure he blocks it. Okay, so that's actually exactly what it would be. See, we do this. See? So then the whip punish happens, like you're talking about Kakarot, right? So that's where the faint comes in, right? Crouch medium kick? No. See, they're looking for the crouch medium kick. Those are little things you can do. So, yeah. I actually do this against Akuma's a lot. 